Now, if you have a second grader or older, here are some clues that you should pay attention to. Do they mispronounce long, unfamiliar, or complicated words? Do they pause or hesitate in their speech? Do they use a lot of ums? That is that word retrieval. They're, they're saying the um as they're trying to get that word from their brain and out. Do they have, use imprecise language? Once again, saying stuff or things instead of the actual name of the object. Um, not being able to find the white, right word or confusing words that sound similar. Do they need extra time to produce an oral response? If you ask them a question, does it take them longer to reply to you? Do they have difficulty in remembering dates, names, telephone numbers? Those are all clues in second grade and above. Um, however, even though they have a difficult time in remembering dates, names, telephone numbers, they remember concepts better than facts. Some more clues. Dyslexics are very slow, make very slow progress in acquiring new reading skills. They lack strategies to attack new or unfamiliar words. They don't have those word attack skills. They guess at reading unknown words. They skip those small function words, of, at, the. They fear or don't want to read out loud. Their oral reading is choppy, labored, not smooth and fluent. If oral reading lacks inflection, if they are monotone, that is a clue. If they're better at reading words in context than isolated words, I've already um, touched on that. If they have poor performance on multiple choice tests, those actually are quite difficult for dyslexic kids. Here are some even more clues for you. If they're not able to finish their tests in time, that should be a clue. Uh, uh, most dyslexics require additional time for testing. Um, disastrous spelling. Um, some dyslexics can't even get close enough for spell check to help them. Reading that's slow and tiring. Um, if they have trouble learning a foreign language, if their handwriting is super messy. If you have homework that never seems to end, that should be a clue for you too. It was in our case for sure. And if they don't enjoy reading, if they avoid reading for pleasure, if they have difficulty in memorizing math facts, that is actually part of it too. It's part of that retrieval process. And if they have problems with directionality, if they get lost easily, that is also a clue. 